Baba do the Buddha. Okay. <sighs> Quite tasty. All right. I think I'm ready. Let's go. Hello, everyone. Solid clap. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Vinia McCown. Thank you so much for being with me today. Today is a long overdue perfume layering combos video. And the unfortunate thing is I wrote a lot of them down in my fragrance journal. Well, no, that is the fortunate thing is that I wrote a lot of them down in my fragrance journal. The unfortunate thing is I cannot find it along with many other things in my life right now. I just simply can't find it. <laughs> um... I simply can't find it. So, these are the combos that I remember that I wore. Um, and y'all just pray that over the next month I will actually like unpack and stop living out of boxes because it's really, it's really not that great. Zero out of ten, do not recommend. So, um, before I get into that, I love y'all. Y'all are amazing. You don't get it better than y'all. I, I love y'all so yeah so a lot of these what am I saying I don't know so let's start with the one that I posted about in my community tab because this one all hits no miss if you have your fragrance journal get it out because I'm going to be all over the place just Fair warning, I'm gonna be all over the place, but that's why y'all got your journal so y'all can, you know, y'all can follow along. So, this one I, I have the full like everything that I wore because it was so good. So, this is also what made me change my mind about the Latafa Yara candy. I had to eat my words after I wore this combo. So, immediately when I got out the shower, I used this slice of summer from Buff City Soap, it's their shower oil. The slice of summer is their watermelon scented thing, it's really, really good. I like it. I think I'm did I finish up the bar soap? I think I got the whole line. I got this. I got the lotion. I think I got the bar soap. I think I might already finished it up. The Slice of Summer is a really, really good watermelon scent. Um, you're supposed to rinse this off, but I just literally stand in the tub while after I literally just stand in the tub, I spread my body down and just literally, I don't, I don't, I don't rinse it off. Um, so... Then once I actually stepped out the tub, I went in with my watermelon mojito fine fragrance mist. This is on my perfume tray. That's where we're at so far. So hopefully, I for sure should be able to finish that up. I just got to remember to wear it. But <laughs> I should be able to finish that up by the end of August. And then I did watermelon mojito in the body. What's this called? The body cream. And then this is watermelon sorbet from Sweet Clementine Soaps. The perfume oil. I did in my hand like this and then I squeeze this and rub this together and rub that over my body and then you know spray again if you know you know if you watch my um shower video you know how I do okay so that was my base then I I can't tell you which one I did first I think I went back and forth but this I used the Latafa Yara candy which literally smells like what it says everything people were saying they were right <laughs> I was just being annoying. I, no, honestly, it changed over the course of a couple days because the this didn't smell like this from first spray. Now, mind you, I came back. I said the next day, but I think in reality I wore it a couple days later. But either way, it had already changed even from a couple days. But once you get to that couple days, it it is really good. It's actually very long lasting. Though I don't think it's beast mode, I was getting whips of myself throughout the entire day. Like. The entire day I could still smell my on my skin clothes like everything I was getting whiffs everywhere um so I did that and I topped it off with this watermelon sugar perfume from from it's from pick me up perfumes this is a relatively new fragrance house that just launched I did film a, um a first impressions video but I don't like how it came out, so I'm going to refilm it once my second order comes in because I did order two more things while, while the website was so open. So once that comes in, I'll film an update on what I've used and then some of the new ones. But it literally smells like watermelon sugar. Like, 
there's no question there is a little bit of something green in here like she also like there's also smells like the rind of the watermelon is in here a little bit too but overall this is a really 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 good watermelon perfume and once her website open back opens back up i will 1000 percent be getting a big bottle of watermelon sugar no questions asked big bottle me please this is my watermelon perfume I, this is what i've been looking for this is it once i combine these two together and y'all see my base that i have i i was untouchable i was literally i knew i smelled good but baby your girl had to place rocket <laughs> it was i <laughs> I can't even I can't even try to downplay how great it was because it was that great. It was. So write it down, add it to your rotation. You really what you if the the meat and potatoes of this combo is really the top of yard candy and the pygmy of perfumes, watermelon sugar. Chef's kiss. But my bet I could talk about that forever and ever. Um another combo that I talked about in my community tab is the Caramel Skin from Fleur and Pink Silk from Jazara's Couture. I filmed a haul from her. She sent me some things um, during We So Back History Month. I also, in my last haul, the one before that, I opened up the perfume oil, some other things from her. I am I do have an affiliate link. I do have an affiliate link with her, and I'll put it down in the description down below. But this Pink Silk single-handed single-handedly convinced me <laughs> to keep caramel skin like I can't explain it this is this is it this is it caramel skin and pink silk go together real bad real bad this is a little how do I explain this it's a little heavier than pink silk is but together, when once I combine these two, I couldn't distinguish what I was smelling one from the other. Once I put these both on, and you know, I already talked about pink silk, how the performance is amazing. I know it's a body butter. Baby, this thing be jumping like it's a perfume. All day. At the end of the day, you take your clothes off, you're still going to smell pink silk on your skin. Literally. Once I put these two on together, it was literally, I could not tell one from the other. It was indistinguishable what I was smelling. And then just for a little razzle down I didn't do a lot I literally didn't do a lot I did the casino royale nights white milk edition I just did a little on the inside of my arms right here and right here that was it uh so that was not the star of the show what I was primarily smelling was the pink silk caramel skin combination together and then every now and again I would get whiffs of the car what's this thing called casino casino royale nights white milk edition from the newer brand I'm very ashy. I don't think I need to smell nothing anyway. Let me put some of this slice of summer on right now because I'm I just washed my hands. And the hands are incredibly incredibly dry. Alright, now I'm gonna be smelling watermelon the rest of the day. That's okay. Alright. Um another I I kinda you know because some of these combos the caramel skin for sure that i just mentioned the one i'm about to talk about and at least one more is borderline given fall like it's definitely a transitional you know some of these are transitional combos um the reality is i am i don't want to say it too loud because michigan is not the type of place to be playing with the weather but i am kind of ready a little bit for fall but the problem is in Michigan, once once Michigan hears fall, it says, oh, you want to fall? Jingle bells. <laughs> and immediately it's like Christmas, snow, 20 degrees, 9 degrees, 0 degrees. It don't have a middle. It go from summer straight to winter. Winter straight to summer. Like, we don't really get the in-between seasons like we should. So I'm not, I'm trying not to rush it because i know what's coming after but fall is literally my favorite season of all time like no questions i love the pumpkin spice lattes i love the scars the boots the weather the scent. i love everything about fall so i am a little bit ready for it but 
I'm not gonna rush and I'm gonna take my time because I know what's coming after. Anyway, I did the skin potion cookie butter, okay? That was, that, and this I did this at night. This was my nighttime combo when I went to bed. That cookie butter, and then I wore, then I wore a sweet serenade from the dual brand. I've actually come around significantly to the sweet serenade. For me not to be a gourmand girly like that, oh, I'm missing the combo. I gotta go get it. Vanilla, please don't forget. Um, this, all I smell is watermelon. <laughs> Let's see if I can get a little in the air. Yeah, I've come around to this. I didn't hate it before. It was like, oh, I kind of like it. I kind of love this now. I kind of love it. It's actually really good. And it's not, I don't think, because the gourmand can get too heavy. It can be too much. It can be too overbearing. This isn't that to me. This was really, really good. And when I, <laughs> I went to bed, I wanted to get myself a hood. This, that was good. Uh, skin potions, cookie butter with sweet serenade from the Dua brand. Okay. Let's do, okay. Me and watermelon was having a time. So, this was the one I, this is the watermelon wonder body glaze, which I absolutely love. It smells so, so good. I don't know if you can see. I done put a little, ooh. It literally smells like exactly what you think it should smell like. Exactly. It's sweet, delicious watermelon. Woo! So good. So, I was going somewhere nowhere crazy um i i was going somewhere and i knew based on where i was going there would be some people around who i had not seen in a long time specifically some people that i did not get along with it, it just is what it is and i said just in case i have i by chance end up being around these people i need to make sure i'm putting i'm putting the baddest what's, what's the sound i don't want no scrubs i'm putting the baddest on the flow I said I it's gotta be I'm not playing no games with nobody so yeah I was determined that I, I my combo had to hit so my base was and, and it did that I really I went through that whole story to say I, I did and I got a couple of text messages after that's all I'll say <laughs> so body glaze watermelon wonder 10 out of 10 highly recommend really good then i did i don't know if i'd use the perfume oil or not i can't remember but the star of the show was galaxy ethereum mixed with pear potion oh oh man man first of all look at my dent i need another backup bottle asap Oh, that's so good. Oh, when I say it literally to me smells like a green airhead that you have put into your mouth and you have it started like melting a little bit. Because <sighs> you know, they kind of dissolve. It's like a green airhead that's start dissolving in your mouth. Like, I don't know how to explain it, but it's so good. When I put this with the pear potion, whoa. Everybody that got a, everybody that gave me a hug was like, you smell good. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and then somebody had like walked past me. They had just like touched my arm. They was like, they had texted me like, uh, whatever you put on, whatever you got on, it's still on my hand. What is it? I'm gatekeeping. I'm not telling you. <laughs> However, just understand that this was a hit. Also, just for a little razzle dazzle. Again, this was not the start of the show. This was just like a, you know, inside of your arm, here, here, like four or five sprays max. Just a little of the Valentino, or the uh, green extravaganza. This was actually a very green combo. Well, Galaxy Ethereal just smells green. It don't look it, but it just smells green. But, baby, they didn't have to tell me. I knew I was hitting, but they did tell me. They did. This is just a plain Jane combo, but it's still was good i don't know what all everything i use i know for sure honeysuckle peach tea and the body cream and in the fine fragrance mist again oh you can't see it it's down pretty low hopefully i finish the spray i'll finish for sure i don't know about the body cream but this was my base this was also this is also my perfume tray um 
and then I believe I put this it's peach something it's a peach perfume oil this is also from sweet clementine soaps I did that and this tasking peach tea which literally smells exactly like what it says it can be a little tart it can be a little tart but the stars will show again and I know it's wrong for me to talk about these perfumes and I haven't hauled them and the website is not open but I just gotta tell my truth this is what I wore this is Texas tea also from pick me up perfumes and the tape is still on here so don't let that be a reflection she works really 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 hard to make sure that to try to get prevent the perfumes from making it to you without leaking because I guess I guess there were several people who were having problems with their perfumes arriving and um, having already leaked in transit. So, <gasps> no! I dropped it and the whole thing literally just fell. Oh my God. Can y'all see this? Wow. I've never had that happen before. <laughs> How do I go on? Well, I was going to talk to you about, oh my gosh, there's so much oil and everything on here. This is actually very dangerous. I can't believe. <laughs> oh my God. <sighs> this is Texas Tea is the name of this. This is another one. From pick me up perfumes it made it to me without breaking and then I just broke it anyway it is a very beautiful perfect lemon sweet tea perfume literally if you made like Lipton sweet tea and added a little lemon to it it would smell like this I'm so, I don't know how I'm gonna be able to move on I didn't even get to wear it like I wanted to. You know what this would smell so good with? This Texas tea would smell so good with this extravaganza. Oh, no, that is perfect. I want to cry. It wasn't a hundred mil veneer. It was only a, I think it was like seven and a half mil. It could be worse. At least you got to smell it. I need to clean that up, but I just, just give me a second. I am unwell. I have never had a perfume break on me before, ever. So let me put these other perfumes up that I've already talked about. When did it end? Ain't that the song? All the enjoyment. Ain't that the sad song? I still haven't seen that Barbie movie. I need. I want to go see it still. I'm sure it ain't in theaters no more, but that's not the point. I keep looking at it on the floor. I don't want to clean it up because it's just. <sighs> I'm gonna get it together. I'm gonna get it together. First of all, my arm right now. If you've ever smelled, I know this is awesome. I don't know if this this doesn't help, but. Land of Oz used to have a perfume oil called Ice Tea Twist. That's literally what that smells like. A lemon, like, and not super sweet, not bitter, anything. Uh, just a smooth, and it's very smooth. That's the other thing. It's smooth. A smooth iced tea with a little bit of lemon scent. That's literally what that is. So good. Wow. Okay. Okay, so the other one, this is the last one I'm going to talk about from Pick Me Up Perfumes. This is Pearberry, also my perfume tray. I did already finish the Fine Fragrance Mist. Hopefully we can finish the body cream, but we'll see. I wore this with Paradise from Pick Me Up Perfumes. This literally smells like Pearberry. It literally, it's the first, oh, it literally smells like Pearberry. So if you wanted pear berry in your collection, can't find it no more, whatever, whatever. Pear berry from Land of Oz, the perfume oil, spot on. And this Paradise from Pick Me Up Perfumes, when she comes back in stock, 
I'll try to make up. I think she said she's come opening back up in September, maybe. Um, well, she comes back and stop. Paradise. You don't need to find the body cream no more. The the body care. Land of Oz. Paraberry with this paradise. Oh my gosh. It smells like paraberry. So good. With this combo, I also wore a pair of potion. And this is also the combo that I had on when I met up with Lauren when she came here to Michigan. And they all said I smell good. So do with that what you will. Another combo that was a talk of the town. And I understand why. This is, first of all, another one. The Dent. I'm so scared to hold all the bottles now. I just don't want nothing else to break. A <laughs> hundred whispers of the goddess from the Dua brand. Okay. With flower bomb nectar. I feel like I mentioned this when I hauled this one I feel like I thought it would be a good concept but I actually wore it in real life and it was like every time somebody walked by I was like whoa you smell good I was like, hey okay <laughs> you know thank you <laughs> yep when I wore this I keep looking at this bottle but yeah, you have to get it you have to move on you have to move on very good very good combo Hundred whistles of the goddess don't need no help. It, it it literally stands on its own. It is that girl, like hands down. But um, this combo was good. I'm moving on quickly because I gotta get my bearings together. <laughs> um, and I also wore Nishan 800 Southern Waves, which I put a little dent in her. I still don't get the hype the way that it was hyped. It still doesn't have all the performance and the things that people were saying like it does. Was probably gonna happen. For me personally is once this bottle is done i'll probably just get the one from the duo brand and they took it out of the vault so i'll just probably get that <laughs> 100 ways from the duo brand to be all set but i did wear this also with flower bomb ruby orchid very very good combo compliment get let me get up and get the one i was missing because that one was really good i don't remember if i used any other body oils or not but i know for sure i used the Sol de janeiro Bomb Dia Bright. This is the Charosa 40 um, body cream, body butter, whatever this is. I actually really enjoyed this. I don't know if I'm tripping. The 68 body butter that I have, I feel like it doesn't moisturize. When I use this, this was very, very moisturizing. So I need to figure out if it was just the routine that I did in the shower that left me very moisturized after and then this was just able to glide right on. Or if there really is a difference between the Bomb Dia Bright one and the, Be is the Beja Flora, whatever that one is. I need to figure out if there's a difference because this was really good when I put this on. Anyway, I went in with, girl, how did you get up and still leave it? Okay. I went in with a brown sugar and fig perfume oil from the scent for you. This smells exactly like the um, brown sugar and fig body care from Bath and Body Works. And then I went in with dark plum, dark plum vanille, which is Dua's dupe for Charosa 40. And let me tell you, let me tell you, hold on, make sure I'm smelling the right thing. Nope, that's the wrong thing. Okay, <laughs> I've got it like four times. So, Bomb Dia Bright Body Cream, Brown Sugar and Fig Perfume Oil from The Scent For You, Vanilla Woods and Amber Plum, which is the dupe for Charosa 40 from Sol de Janeiro. And what I was getting ready to say is, if, <laughs> if Dua keeps recreating these higher end body mist the way that they've been creating them and they've been like spot on these um these body mist companies might not see me no more because <laughs> so far the two that i smelled from do it and their interpretation of a charosa um mist is spot on then i topped it off i told you i'm a little ready for fall i'm sorry i'm a little bit with vanilla vice from sniff this my, this how much I got left of the trap. Whoa, whoa! I was truly unprepared for how good that was gonna smell together, baby. It's a so think of dark fruit, so like plum. Think of it really heavy, slightly syrupy. And then vanilla 
and spices so good a little woody but in like the best way possible if somebody's if somebody makes perfumes or makes this and you see this go ahead and just combine that into one give us a Sharosa what's this called Sharosa 40 vanilla uh, vice combo just go and go ahead and do that for us for us the people we the people cause that was a hit and I said I for sure have to spin the block on this when the weather drops that's gonna be perfect for the cold weather absolutely perfect so good so anyway those are some of my layering combos over the past couple of weeks i wish i could have i wish i could find my fragrance journal so that i could find um remember the rest of them because i was writing them down specifically because i said you know you're moving and stuff you might not remember whatever i specifically remember to write them down but now i can't remember where i put them. <laughs> but the fragrance journal and speaking of fragrance journals Y'all, this last drop was so stressful. And thankfully, everything has been dropped off at the post office. Like, you know, everything. Even with that, I still hope it makes it because the barcode, and I ran out of ink. I thought something was wrong with my printer. What was actually wrong was I was out of ink. So the barcode was a little sketchy. So now the tracking number is not updating because I guess they got to do it manually. I don't know. It just, <laughs> everything was just so stressful everything was so stressful and I'm like do I really want to do keep doing selling stuff I don't know y'all I don't know from the journals to the and I have another hat idea I already had the design made it's so cute and it's perfume themed it's so cute it's just I don't know y'all I don't know how if I want to continue doing merch of any kind especially now right now it's just me like it's nobody else it's just me and I'm a hot mess okay I've, I'm very clear and very vocal about that that I I just I'm just not that type a personality got my stuff together very organized very that's just not me and I feel like to take on a task of this size, you really have to be very organized, very this, very, I get discouraged easily. I get, I just don't think I'm, <laughs> so I don't know y'all. I don't know if I, if right now, I, if I will continue doing merch and journals and I don't know. So y'all, I don't know. Anyway. I don't know why I just got so sad. It's really because I dropped that perfume. <laughs> Ever since I dropped and broke that perfume, everything has just been... When did it end? <laughs> All the end, I love y'all. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. I'm probably let me know what you think. I love you all so much. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.